Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back to another gardening video with me, Anthony Kenneth Bishop. And today we have another video for you. It's for Wednesday, 17th of January 2018. And in this episode here, for today's episode, I am actually showing you the progression of my beetroots there's my beetroots nice red beets which I'm actually starting to grow as I put these in around about seven eight days um, at the back got one two three four five beetroots at the back should be plenty enough uh, to do and these are organic all of them are organic and nothing else on these two at the moment are growing just these two at the moment have got some sort of plantage uh, growing. Some little seedings. I don't know if you can see it there. Little seedings. This little one here. Absolutely brilliant. This little baby one here. And then we've got this little baby one here. Once they start flowering and getting a little bit of like six inches at least. Up to about here. Up to here should be fine. Nothing um, grown out of these two yet, or started growing. Uh, got water in there as well, mixed in. I really should tip all that out. That's from the previous water. Um, nothing on these ones yet. This is in 4K, by the way. Well, it should be by the time I've uploaded them. And it's been about, I would say, eight to nine days. Um, when I put them in, eight to nine days. It takes around about 14 to 15 days, 16 days, and then 28 days is when they're quite big and they're ready to go outside. But you also got to watch the temperatures. If it's still cold, I was waiting to. I'm growing them now and pre growing them, and then they can be ready to go outside, I would say March, April, something like that, hopefully. Uh, but keep them in the house until uh, the last frost, wherever you guys and girls are and all of that. Um, and then put them in pots. Uh, I'm going to be putting them in a sort of like um, one of these square uh, sort of, I wouldn't say baskets. But they're like a sort of a wooden box. You put all the, uh, the dirt inside and then just put the soil on it and then you should be fine. Um, I've got two of them which I bought around about seven eight quid from Bunnings. I will show you in another video once I've actually sorted them out and put them together and all that. But I'll be in another video. But if you guys and girls enjoy these videos, so the um, the ones at the back, one, two, three, four, five of them just there. Those are the ones up here. One, two, three, four, five. That is my beetroots. Which I'm growing, so I've got five of those organic, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five tomatoes, and then I have my chili plants here. Well, I've got three chilies, uh, chili plants, and then I've also got I think it's my cucumbers. I've got one, two, three cucumbers, which I should be able to get quite a bit, a fair bit of uh, vegetables off them, and they're all organic. I'm using uh, a compost called New Horizon uh, brand so hopefully this does the job and once uh, I put them in I can put some organic um, plant food in there mixed in so it gives us all its nutrients <clears throat> every I think like six months put like a six month supply in there mix it in with the uh, compost which should be good and all that and hopefully some vegetables should turn out but instead of me putting them in the garden this year i'm going to be putting them in sort of like pots and hopefully i can grow them in there um i should be able to do all right with my chili plants and i should be all right there to do with my uh cucumbers this is the cucumber ones i'm actually growing telegraph improved uh for cool greenhouses or frame or whatever it's uh, called but apparently you're supposed to put these out roughly oh these are the long ones as well that's the long cukes 